Well, here you go, my NXT stand deliver predictions. We got the NXT Women's Champion ladder match. So here's my pick already. Roxanne Perez, because I know she's going to win it because she came back on NXT unexpectedly because it was called a cover-up for no reason. But glad she's back, and I say Roxanne Perez. Next up, we got Chase U versus the Schism. Y'all already know who I'm picking. What's that smell? Chase U! Is who I'm picking. And yes, I hope they win and these whatever can go away. Bear with me, guys. I am very tired. So, sorry if I'm not really talking that much because I'm tired. So, anyways, we got the Creed Brothers, Gallus, and Tony D'Angelo. And his partner. So here's what I'm going to say. I think. Diamond Mine will take the win. Honestly here's my prediction. Wesley. Next up is the NXT Women's Championship. Now I know. There's been a lot of beef between the Chachi champs. With y'all know who. If you've been watching NXT. And I have a great feeling. That um. Abra Fire is going to. And is her taxi partner going to win? I don't know her name. I forgot. Let me know in comments down below who it is. So, But in the end, I think the tag champs will retain. This guy better not cheat. So we got Johnny Gargano versus Grayson Waller in an unsanctioned match. Now, I'm not. I'm going to say this once and I'm not going to say it again. Johnny, Gar Johnny Wrestling is going to win. And last but not least. We got the NXT Championship. Braun Breaker versus Cabello Hayes. These two are very talented superstars. And I think they're going to slay at the main event. So I'm really looking forward to what they have planned for us. But who do you have winning in this match? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, we should be expected to get a trailer for NXT Battleground. Because it is coming to the Song Center at UMass Hall, which sadly I won't be able to go, but I will watch it on Peacock. Embarrassingly, because it's literally not too far, like right down the street from my house. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we should be, be able to get a trailer for NXT back old ground, which Battleground's a very old WWE pay per view they brought back. And this is to compete with. AEW Double or Nothing, which I don't think that's the best route, but, but are you excited for NXT Battleground? And are you guys going to go to the show? Let me know in the comments down below. April Fools! I actually lied. This is going to be a prediction and review, because I actually saw it at one. So here's my review. We have a new NXT Women's Champion, Indy Hartwell. I almost forgot my words. <laughs> But yeah, let me review what happened here. So, I think I said Roxanne to retain. But I guess I was wrong because someone decided to interfere. Who was it? Jade decided to interfere. I'm refilling because I accidentally said Keith Lee. Wesley retained his time. And we have new NFC Women's Tag Team Champions. Word circle, they have won the tag team champions, Alba Fire. And I forgot her name too, so he let me know in the comment section below who that other girl is, because I clearly forgot that superstar. I'm sorry. Let's talk about this match. This match had my ups and downs. Duke Hudson kind of seemed in the beginning frustrated, because he wasn't that tagged. But then the schism gave him a shirt that said schism. But guess what? It's a fool's! He didn't fall for it, and Chase U ended up getting the getting the W. Hashtag W Chase U. And still, your NXT Tag Team Champions, Gallus. Now, I had no idea they were going to retain their titles. I was hoping Diamond Mine would win. Well, get, well, I guess wrong. And let me tell you something. So after the match, um, Tony, Tony D'Angelo and his partner... Got into a fight with the with the so-called hosts of NXT Stand and Deliver, pretty deadly. And then it turned out to be not 
So good. And they have to get referees. But yeah, this match was great. Now, this match was absolutely entertaining. And I thought Grayson Waller was going to win because of the low blow and his moves he has. Because I didn't know. There was no way Johnny was going to kick out of that. But until Kansas helped, which she came out of the crowd and then hit Grayson Waller with the kendo stick. And we got the reunited The Way. Formerly in NXT. But remember, Johnny Gargano is a Raw superstar. But he still calls NXT his home. But yeah, this match was great. And I'm glad Johnny Gargano won. Yes! Guess what, guys? Melo, don't miss. Because he is your new NXT champion. And Trick Williams got ejected from, rejected from ringside. Whoop! Turned out, didn't. Because guess why? When the ref was down... He decided it was a great idea to take advantage and hit Braun Breaker with the damn title. How dare he? But in the end, they showed their respect. But hey, I gotta give it to Melo because I was entertained. I had no idea who was going to win that championship. At the last moment when he hit the nothing but net, I thought Braun was going to kick out. But nope, I was wrong. I was a deeply shocked. And that will be a wrap of my predictions and reveal of NXT Stand and Deliver. It was an April Fool's joke. I said prediction in the beginning, but until I realized, nope, I wanted to do both. But anyways, what did you thought of the show? Let me know in the comments down below. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, my friend. Ha ha, it's just a part of my show. That is not your song, bitch!